Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 25 through 27, where it is written, Meanwhile, standing near the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. This beloved disciple, by the way, is John. So Jesus, obviously, he knows he doesn't have much time left. Yes, he'll be dead very shortly. But then arise from the dead. But 40 days later, he's going to ascend to heaven. He won't be around anymore to take care of his mom. And Joseph had died of natural causes by that point. So in this culture, a woman by herself, you're in trouble. So it says, John, take care of my mom. It's your mom. Mom, this is your son, John. From that moment on, John and Mary were, de I mean, they lived together like mother and son. So we see even on the cross, even as our Lord knows and he's about to die, to forgive the sins of the world. Sure, thereafter, he's going to rise again to start restoring the world to the right relationship with God. Knowing that he'll ascend very shortly, he still cares about everyday people. He cares about his mother and wants to make sure she's taken care of. He cares about John and wants to make sure he has someone to look after him. The point being, God cares. While he's out doing the big business of saving humanity on the cross and the empty tomb and so on, he still cares about the everyday people in his life, his mother and John. And he shows example for us. He's the almighty God here to save the world. And we in our own lives have our own things that are very important to us, the big, every, the big stuff that our life is about. We do those things. And also, as we're doing these big things that we're meant to do, we have a daily life. We have family. We have friends. And so our Lord models for us. When we're on the big deal, the mission, don't neglect the people. Your family, your friends, let them know you love them. Let them know that you care. If Jesus shows that he cares, he's saving the world by dying on the cross and rising again. I want to show my mom, my mom and my friends are taken care of. So he does it. Lesson obviously then for us is we're going about our own business. Make sure friends and family are not neglected. Or put it this way. All material stuff in the world, when you die, you can't take it with you. All that matters is our Lord. As you think of our Lord's uh, words in Matthew 25, he'll evaluate us in how we treat other people. Point being, relationships are what matter. People are what matter. I have a priority check. It's not for stuff or uh, accomplishments that Jesus Christ died and rose. It's for people. Think about that. Let us close with prayer. O oh Lord, Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for your mother. Thank you for St. John. Thank you for all these things. God, help us to always put people first over accomplishments and things. Amen.